One day, Pinkie Pie and her friends were making a batch of rock candy for Pinkie's sister Maud. We have to choose the perfect ones before she gets here, so I have time to make more! <laughs> Maud was coming to visit Ponyville. Pinkie hoped that Maud would become fast friends with the other ponies. We can make Festus's friend rock candy necklaces together! Pinkie Pie thought that Maud and her friends shared common interests. They would be friends in no time. She expresses herself through fashion just like Rarity, and she's really smart and loves reading just like Twilight! And she's honest and loves forest things and is good at games and... Well, uh, she's awesome! Pinkie Pie's friends were eager to meet Maud for the first time, so every pony went to greet her together. Twilight Sparkle welcomed Maud to Ponyville. Maud was a little overwhelmed by meeting every pony at once. We're just so thrilled you could come for a visit. Pinkie Pie has told us so much about you. Pinkie Pie thought every pony's favorite activities would bring Maud and her friends closer together. This is going to be the best, most awesome, funnest week ever! I can't wait for us all to become bestest friends! Pinkie Pie tells me you share my love for fashion. I'm really into expressing myself through my wardrobe. Rarity, Maud, and Pinkie Pie went to the Carousel Boutique to try on some fashionable clothes. I like this one. Rarity was surprised by Maud's unique sense of style when she picked out a dish towel as her favorite fabric. I believe that is a dish towel. But, 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 but I'm sure I could work my magic and turn into something fabulous. No, thanks. Fluttershy had heard that Maud loved nature, too, so they took a walk through the woods together. These spiders only live in Ponyville, and even though they may look a teeny bit scary, they're actually very sweet. However, Fluttershy got confused when Maud seemed much more interested in a dull rock than a friendly spider. I was looking at the rock. Twilight heard that Maud loved poetry as much as she did, but all of the poems Maud recited were about rocks. Rocks. These are my rocks. Sediments make me sedimental. Twilight Sparkle listened politely, but was not sure she enjoyed Maud's rock poetry. I've written thousands. She's so prolific! Applejack heard that Maud was also very honest, so she wanted Maud to try some of her delicious apple cider. Wow! That's the best apple cider I've ever had! Applejack asked Maud for her honest opinion, but Maud did not seem to enjoy the cider as much as Pinkie Pie. What do you think, Maud? It tastes like apples. Rainbow Dash heard that Maud loved games. Rainbow was amazed when Maud won their rock throwing contest. Rainbow Dash was surprised that Maud won, but was even more shocked that Maud didn't seem to care about winning. I guess you won this one, Maud. I'm not really into winning. <gasps> Pinkie Pie was preparing to make more best friend rock candy necklaces when her friends showed up. looking for rocks, so this is the perfect time for us to set up everything we'll need to make our best friend rock candy necklaces! Applejack explained they didn't want to make necklaces because they didn't feel they were best friends with Maud. We just wouldn't feel right making something that means we're best friends if, well, we aren't. 
Oh, okay. Pinkie Pie was still determined to make Maud and the others become friends. So she created a fun obstacle course. I call it Pinkie Rainbow Rare Twy Apple Fuller Maud Fun Time! Pinkie thought that if the ponies ran the course together, they would become friends in no time. Pinkie demonstrated the obstacle course and paused before climbing the giant rock slide at the end. For rarity, reading material for Twilight, prayer time for Fluttershy, cupcakes for yours truly, and it's a race for Rainbow Dash. Pinkie Pie, what is that? A rock slide, of course, for Maud. Pinkie Pie started climbing the rock pile, but got stuck right as a boulder started to tumble down. Luckily, Maud rushed to the rescue and stopped the boulder before it could hurt Pinkie Pie. Every pony was so relieved and grateful that Maud was able to save Pinkie Pie in time. How in Equestria did she do that? Pinkie Pie was in trouble. Maud would move mountains for her if she had to. They all realized that the one important thing that they all shared with Maud was their love for Pinkie Pie. That's it! I think I finally realized what we all have in common with Maud. The ponies knew that Maud could be their good friend, no matter how different they were from one another. The thing that makes us click and creates a special bond between us is how much we all love Pinkie Pie. What do you think, Maud? Maud agreed. Pinkie Pie was elated that all her friends were now friends with her big sister. Sure. Maud explained to her new friends that though she was Pinkie Pie's sister, she was not nearly as excitable. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't show my enthusiasm for things quite in the same way my sister does. Every pony understood. Even though Maud had a different way of showing her feelings, she still had plenty of them. Uh, we noticed. And we're totally cool with it. Every pony went back to Sugar Cube Corner and presented rock candy necklaces to celebrate their friendship. Maud, we'd like to give you something so that you remember all your friends from Ponyville. Thank you. Even though Maud didn't like candy, she kept every necklace she received from Pinky and her friends in a chest. I don't really like candy, but I do love Pinkie Pie. Every pony celebrated their new friendship with Maud by throwing her a dance party. The end.